Hello and welcome to the Peak Electronics booth. Peak Electronics is one of the leading manufacturers of DC-DC converters with a wide range of more than 20,000 standard types. This video is about selecting a DC-DC converter. In few steps we explain the most important criteria to select the converter optimized on the application needs. What about the electromagnetic compatibility? Every DC-DC converter generates noise that is caused by high frequency switching of an inductance. With converters that are not galvanically isolated, a choke is responsible and with galvanically isolated converters, a transformer. Almost all converters switch with square waveform, whereby besides the clock frequency, many harmonics are also created. Hence, converters interfere in a wide frequency spectrum starting at the clock frequency up to frequencies in the three-digit megahertz range. Although all converters already have built-in components that reduce the noise generated, in many requirements the standards to be met are more stringent. In such cases, the emitted interference should be further reduced by means of external circuitry. The interferences arise in three areas, between input and output, on the input lines between plus connection and minus connection and on the output side also between plus connection and minus connection. The interferences between input and output are caused by the charge shifts of the transformer. The transformer acts as a noise capacitator. The interferences can be short circuited by connecting a ceramic capacitor between the minus input and the minus output of the DC-DC converter. Values for the capacitance preferably range between 100 picofarads and 10 nanofarads. The electric strength of the ceramic capacitor must meet the requirements of the potential separation, which is why a Y2 or Y1 capacitor is used in demanding applications. Interferences that occur at the input between the operating voltage connections can generally be reduced with an LC filter. It is often easier to experiment with the optimal combination of choke and capacitor because the effectiveness of the filter is heavily dependent on the quality of the choke. Practical experience has demonstrated that it is a good choice to use chokes with over-dimensioned current rating and not too high inductances. Simple chokes, linear chokes, should have values in the range from 0.1 microhenry up to 10 microhenry and have a current carrying capacity that is at least two times higher than the maximum existing in the application. With DC-DC converters having higher power, a current compensated choke with an inductance of around one millihenry and a rated current that is well above the value of the application can also be considered. Dimensioning of the capacitors is especially dependent on what frequency spectrum of the interference has to be effectively reduced. Electrolytic capacitors exhibit a high capacitance and can reduce low clock frequencies particularly well. However, electrolytic capacitors are increasingly ineffective in higher frequency ranges starting from 200 kHz. For this reason, one or several ceramic capacitors should be additionally connected in parallel with the electrolytic capacitors. It is important to choose a capacitor with high quality material such as COG, NPO or X7R. Depending on the requirements, the capacitance values can range from one nanofarad up to several microfarads. A similar approach is used for reduction of the output interference. In contrast to the conditions at the input, only a choke with few windings should be used. If an inductance is at all necessary, a ferrite bead can be used or a ferrite sleeve for more powerful applications. Ferrite beads and ferrite sleeves are available with a variety of inductances from 1 nanohenry up to 100 nanohenry, often also shown as AL value in the datasheet. For critical electromagnetic compatibility EMC applications, DC-DC converters are offered that are potted in a metal can and have low electromagnetic interference emission. 